guys. Uh, this is Mrs. O, of course, with Kingdom Barbecue Catering Service and Kingdom Sweets Online. Um, I thought about uh, this afternoon doing a quick pasta. You know, with the spring and the summer coming around, you don't want to really be in the kitchen long. Uh, so I'm going to do a chicken alfredo with spinach and mushrooms. I sauteed two chicken breasts, I'm sorry, I seared two chicken breasts on both sides, then I put it in the oven on 350 for about 30 minutes and let it rest. I also sauteed the mushrooms in one teaspoon of canola oil, then I stirred it, and then I added a tablespoon of chicken broth. Okay, let's put this together. So here, I have, this is just a one dump bowl. I have the sauteed mushrooms. Also, you'll need a 10 ounce of chopped frozen spinach. Of course, let it thaw and then squeeze all of the juice out of it. So that's one 10 ounce of chopped spinach. And I did eight uh, Baby Bella mushrooms. Okay, let's put that in there. Also on this, also on this, I, um, so this is the spinach and the mushrooms. I know you guys are saying, oh my gosh, you got a huge bowl. But I want to make sure that everything is incorporated. Okay, next I'm going to put, I did three and a half cups of pina pasta and I let it cook for about eight minutes. My daughter is shaking her head. What type of pasta? Pinay. Pinna, pinna pasta, and I let it cook for about eight minutes, and of course I drained it. So I'm gonna add that in there. Let's put that in there. And let me get the two chicken breasts that uh, I seared. Okay, this is the two chicken breasts that I seared and put in the oven for about 30 minutes, 30 to 35 or 350. So I'm just gonna pour that in here. And also, you guys, okay, I'm lazy, I'll have to admit. I was going to do my homemade Alfredo sauce, but I decided, hey, let's just get a jar and do it. Let's just get a jar <laughs> and do it. So I got a 14.5 ounce of Artesian three cheese Alfredo sauce. You can use any type of Alfredo sauce you like. I particularly like this one. So I'm going to put one jar in here. I bought two, so I might need another one. Okay, so let's put that in there. And where did you get this idea from again? Uh, my daughter. I guess, you know, she wants you guys to know that she gave me this idea. Okay. And I'm going to do... Got to put a little pump down in here, okay? So I'm going to do probably... Let's say... A half a cup of Parmesan, okay? So let's stir this up, sorry. Let's do a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, and let's do, uh, I'm gonna say a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, let's stir this up to see if I have enough sauce or if I need to add sauce. And I know, you guys, this is one of my catering bowls. I know it's really huge, huh? But I wanted to make sure I incorporated everything. Wow, it really looks good. And I'm going to bake this in the oven probably for about 20 to 25 minutes. Because everything is really done. I just want it to heat up. And I also want the cheese to melt. So I say I'm going to add half a jar of this other sauce uh, that I got. So I'm going to do a half a jar because I think it needs more. You read my mind. I was like, half a jar sounds good. Yeah. So I'm going to do another half a jar. Okay. There you go. Now, as my mom would say, we're working with fire. Can you see that? 
I mean, that's gorgeous. And you notice I didn't add salt because of the Parmesan and also the Alfredo sauce has quite a bit of sodium in it. And as I always say, taste your food. So let me taste it first. Just in case I do need a little salt. Oh wow. No salt needed. All right. Let me get the baking dish. I want you guys to see this. The spinach, the mushrooms, and the chicken. So let me get the baking dish. Okay, this is a... You guys are going to laugh at me. I always say 13 by 9, 9 by 13 is one of those measurements. And you would think as long as I've been cooking, I should know that. Okay, let's put it in here. All right. This is going to be wonderful. With all the spinach, the Parmesan cheese, the mushrooms, and the chicken, which will really give it a nice the mushrooms will give it a nice meaty taste. Okay, and on top of here, I am going to put some mozzarella cheese. Since it's an Alfredo sauce, I didn't want any dark cheese, so I'm going to use the, uh, the mozzarella cheese. Okay, now let's just spread this kind of evenly. And I'm going to put it in a 350 degree oven. Of course, I'm gonna cover it with foil. And I'm gonna say 20 minutes. If it's less than that, I'll come back and tell you guys. And if it's more than that, I'll come back and tell you guys. Okay, now let's put this uh, grated mozzarella cheese on it. Which is going to be divine. Also, you guys, I want to say, like when you're cooking or you're starting to cook and you're watching videos in the kitchen, you have to find your own groove. You know, somebody might do something a different way. Everybody don't cook the same. So when you're making your dishes, find your own groove for your dishes. Okay. I think that is enough. So 20 to 25 minutes. And I will come back and show you guys the finished product. Thank you. Stay connected. Hey, you guys. This is how your chicken breast should look when you stir it. You just want it brown on each side to where it holds in the juices. Uh, but it will not be cooked all the way. And we're going to do that in the oven. I just wanted to show you uh, how to stir your chicken. Okay, you guys, wanted to show you the uh, sauteed mushrooms uh, that is going in the dish. I did a teaspoon of canola oil, and once it started, I did one tablespoon of chicken broth. And I just let them sauteed until all of the liquid is out. So that was probably around 12 minutes. So this is how your sauteed mushrooms should look. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. It literally took 27 minutes uh, to finish this pasta dish, but I want you guys to see this masterpiece. Now when I say it's smoking hot, look at that. That's the mozzarella cheese, the chicken, the spinach, the mushrooms, this is a must to make for your family. Very simple, very easy. And of course, I am going to try and eat some. Okay, this just come out the oven, so I'm gonna have to hold this. I want you to see this. Wow, look at that. See the mushrooms? You see all that cheesiness? Oh, I don't know why I always do that. 
But anyway, you guys are going to have to try this. And when you try some of my recipe, when you try some of my recipes, I'm about to burn myself on this thing too. <laughs> please comment below and let me know how they turn out. Okay, this is the uh, creamy chicken alfredo with spinach and mushrooms. All right. I want you guys to really see. See, this is really hot. Okay? This is really hot. So, I'm going to blow on it. I'm going to stand away from the dish so I won't blow no spit on it. But hold on, you guys. All right, hold on. Oh, my God. I know I say this about all my dishes. But I'm going to be honest. This is one of my favorites. You guys have to try this on a weeknight or the weekend. Thank my daughter for suggesting this because I was going to do a lasagna. She was like, mm. of course, she's always saying, don't do something. But again, thank you guys for watching. Please share and subscribe. And also, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Pin interest. God bless you guys. My mouth is full, so I'm not pronouncing it right. But God bless you guys and hope you have a wonderful week.